Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at how to prepare for the IB Mathematics AAHL. So first things first, the AAHL course is split into five main areas, number and algebra, functions, geometry and trigonometry, stats and probability, and calculus. Now, there are a few new bits like McLaurin series, differential equation, and rational binomial theorem, but honestly, about 95% of it's still pretty similar to the old HL syllabus. Yeah. Now let's let's see the exam breakdown. So you have three papers in total: paper one, paper two, and paper three. So paper one and paper two, it's 30%. Paper three, you're allowed two hours in total for each paper. For paper three, you're only given one hour. Now let's get more specific about paper one and paper two. So for both papers, you have two sections, section A and section B. So let's have look at a sample specimen paper from the B. This is paper one and section A and section B. So for section A, you're given around eight to nine short response questions. So we start easier and get more challenging as you continue to work on the questions. And section B has three extended concepts together. So if you look at paper, look at paper two, a specimen paper. So this is section B, as you can see, we have three extended response questions with multiple multiple concepts blended together. Now, as a good rule of thumb, it, it's better to spend about 50 minutes on section A and then the remaining time for section B. That way you don't get stuck on one tricky short question and lose time for those bigger extended response marks. For paper three, it's just one hour. Let's look at paper three here. So this is a specimen paper three. You're given one hour, 55 marks in total. And as I mentioned, so two standard questions, really long question. Okay. Paper three really tests on investigative and applied math skills. Okay. You'll often see multiple step problems that require you to connect different topics. So it talked so let's look at the top 10 tips to help you succeed in math AAHL. So tip number one solidify core concepts. Even though topics pop the content so focus on nailing the fundamentals like functions, algebraic manipulation, calculus, because IB loves to combine them in one question. Okay. Tip number two, start IB style questions early. Don't just rely on class exercises. IB questions can get really tricky, especially with multi-mark problems. Now at HKXL, we have topic-wise question sets that mirror the IB style. So you can practice applying multiple concepts at once. But let's have a look at how the, the topic-wise question sets that we have. So here, this is topic one, set one, and this is topic two, set two. So as you can see, we know that in topic one, you have like sequence and series, complex numbers, 
and binomial expansion. So we have sets like this, multiple sets like this. And we also know that in topic two, which is functions, we have everything on functions. So this is the first set of functions as well. And tip number three, practice at least 10 years of past papers. Yes, you heard me right, 10 years. Even though the syllabus changed slightly, the question format and style remain pretty consistent. So past paper practice is essential. Tip number four, time management. So paper one and paper two, we have section A and section B. So aim for about 50 minutes on section A and then dive into section B. So if you get stuck, move on. Don't lose all your precious exam time on one single question. And remember in paper three, here, you only have two big questions. So practice pacing on tough multiple step problems. Okay. Now, tip number five, link parts of a question. Now, usually in section B and also in paper three, let's say part A often helps you solve part B. Okay, let's look at an example. Uh, let's say, here, you'll see questions or questions stating hence or otherwise or using the results from part B and C. So if you, let's say if you can't solve the previous parts, do not lose hope. Use the given or show that result to tackle this part, okay? There are still marks to be earned. A lot of students panic when they can't solve a particular part, like show that or verify that or deduce that questions, okay? So you can just use the answer or result from those parts in your other part of the questions, okay? So you'll still get marks for this. Okay? And if you look at paper, paper three, it's very common in paper three as well. So let's have a look. You will notice that there are questions which says, Show that, okay, show that. And then you'll finally see something like this. Use the result from part D and F. So that means even if you can't show this part and this part, you can use the result that is already shown to solve part H here. Okay. Uh, tip number six, formula booklet and Calculator, GDC, your graphing display calculator. So it's better that you know where exactly to find the formulas and from which topic the formula. Okay. If you look at the formula booklet, this is the formula booklet and the number. Okay, so the formula booklet will give you the formulas that are essential. Okay. And as I mentioned, familiarize yourself with the graphing calculator. So explore all the, all the features like graphing, derivatives, regression, and even matrix solver. It can seriously save your time in the exam, for, especially for paper two and paper three. Tip number seven, keep a mistake book, okay? If you get a question wrong, rewrite it, solve it again, and note why you messed up. Is it concept confusion, time pressure, or sloppy algebra? Identify the real cause is how you will improve. So when you identify the real cause, you can actually work on that 
problem or issue. Okay. And tip number eight, root causes, not careless. Now avoid calling everything a careless mistake. Often it's a sign you were rushed or uncertain about a concept. Figure out the deeper issue and fix that. Tip number nine, balance a note and practice. So make sure you have a summary of all the formulas and concepts so that you can revise or go through them. And obviously the best way to improve math is by solving problems, especially like new topics, McLaurin series, differential equations, and other like complicated or difficult concepts or topics. So do as many IB style questions as possible. And as I mentioned, if you need help, we have sets of question, topic wise questions okay, that you can practice on. Tip number 10, don't overstress. You have got three papers plus the I. So if paper one goes south, you can still pull your grade up on paper two and paper three. And for the IA is 20%. It is important, but you don't need a perfect seven there to get an overall seven. So keep calm and keep practicing. Okay, so okay. a lot of students do find paper three pretty daunting, and it is actually pretty daunting as well, because a lot of the questions are interlinked, as I mentioned earlier. So this paper, is to test deeper thinking and investigative math. Now, if you want extra preparation, HKXL has sets of paper three style questions that reflect this new emphasis on problem solving. Trust me, practicing these type of exam style questions can boost your confidence as well as speed. And so if you have any questions, you can always contact HKXL for more resources. Feel free to reach out. Thank you.